We're here on day two of the Energy Storage Europe show in Dusseldorf, Germany. I'm here with Florian Meyer from Apricom. He heads up the Energy Storage Division. Welcome. Thank you very much. Today we'll be talking about battery technologies and I understand that lithium ion is a dominant technology in the storage industry at the moment. Do you see that dominance maintaining and what other technologies do you think can claim some dominance in the industry? I think to answer that question we first have to remind ourselves that the lithium ion uh, dominance or the lithium ion market was not built on demand from the stationary energy storage market but it was coming rather from consumer electronics and more recently e-mobility. So that is a market obviously where um, lithium ion is really good, uh, well suited and uh, because it's all about energy density. So other technologies like flow batteries would not stand a chance. And that led to a high production volumes of lithium ion and uh, with that comes economy of scale and high bankability. So that's of course a big benefit when demand for stationary storage emerged. And uh, in particular because that demand was uh, dominated by short duration application, again, uh, technologies like flow batteries did not really have a technology advantage to uh, make up for these economies of scale lithium ion was already able to develop coming from consumer electronics and e-mobility. But now for the first time long duration storage comes more into the focus and for the first time flow batteries um, have a chance actually to compete because there's inherent technological advantage um, because energy can be increased independently from power and at comparatively low cost. So I would say for the first time lithium ion is not a clear winner and a certain share could go to um, long duration uh, technologies such as flow batteries. And if you look even more down the road, there's also with the emergence of uh, seasonal storage, and that's a big topic here at the conference, um, there will be also non-battery um, technologies becoming more important such as uh, power to gas for example. So how large a share of the storage pie, shall we say, can flow batteries take and in what time scales are we talking? Oh, that's, that's hard to say because um, it's not all about um, costs of flow batteries, which, I'm, has, uh, which are going down uh, depending on the duration because you can uh, scale the energy portion independently from uh, the power portion. But it's also about uh, other topics such as bankability, as I said. So in here lithium ion has an advantage and lithium ion already um, builds on these economies of scale. So it's hard to say how much the cost of lithium ion will go down and whether, that, whether flow batteries will be able to compete against that based on cost, but also on these other factors such as bankability. So I don't know, I think my crystal ball is not any better than of anyone else. It will certainly be exciting to find out. So Florian Meyer, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.